Good morning. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Monday, May 16th. I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment. Started off peaceful, but then I realized I forgot my mask. So I'm hopefully what? I'm hoping the hospital will give me one. Thank you. Good morning for choosing Starbucks. My name's Elise. What's your name? Zaina. Hey there, what can we get started for you today? Um, can I have a tall iced matcha green tea latte with coconut milk? With coconut milk, you said? Yes. Alrighty, matcha ice and tall coconut Okay, anything else for you, dear? And then can I have the grilled cheese also? Yeah, let me check on that for you. Give me one second, let me make sure we have this. Okay. Alrighty, we got that for you. Anything else? Um, and just a uh, tall cup of water. And a tall cup of water? Yes. Okay, you got it. Alrighty, thank you. No problem, we'll have you put for you at the window. Okay. I always know someone didn't get my name or know my name by when they're like, thank you, instead of like, uh, hi, Santa, or Anyways, so yeah, I don't have my mask. So I got my car detailed, so I cleaned out. I took everything out. I have nothing. Um, just fine dining. That's all I have. Um, these make me nervous, these grilled cheese, because they're so good. But one time I got it, and it was like leaking oil. Um, anyways, oh, that's so hot. Okay, we're going to wait. Also, apparently the parking deck caught on fire, so you have to park in the cancer center parking deck. And the nurse is talking about, you just gotta hike up a hill. What do I look like? So my doctor's appointment was good. Um, still just one centimeter dilated. I started bleeding, so I was like, but apparently it's, normal when you just get checked um i'm about to go into this new coffee shop called tuesdays in marietta i'm gonna meet my friend cassie here and there's this store market with a b that always has cute baby stuff that i've always wanted to like look at and shop for when i'm pregnant so maybe if i'm feeling okay i'll go in there after but i need to go sit my butt down somewhere again um, so yeah, hopefully I texted Erin to see if maybe she wanted to meet me for lunch over here. Hmm, I just got hungry. I don't like coffee shop food. I know it's not all created equal, it depends on where you go. Maybe this coffee shop will have some food. I don't know. Back home, it's been a productive morning. I told you I got a mask, but then found out it was really, I really had one on my purse the whole time. Erin's getting some vitamin D because she's cold. And Theo's out here. Let me come up here. Hey! Wanna give me a stick? No. Give me a stick. He's gonna run over here. Oh, there's no more. Just kidding. Um, I have a couple of practical things that I need to get, get done. Um, that have nothing, well, that have nothing to do with the baby. Um, like music stuff, but leave it alone. Theo, what are you looking at? Come, Theo. A lot has happened since I last. What is happening? Um, I'm in Tyrone. I look dark. Mm, look at my freckles. What the heck? I'm outside for 3.6 seconds and it's like. Bleh. Anyways, um, I'm leaving Circa. I had a nice little matcha. And what am I saying? 
I met a new friend. Her name is Danielle, and she's amazing, and it was nice to talk to her. And now I'm gonna go have lunch with Lydia at She Craft Co. If you've never been to She Craft Co., you're not living. Sorry. Try again after you have She Craft. Um, and then I keep saying I'm gonna drop these freaking napkins off. But driving into Peachtree City is painful. Not because I hate it, but because it's like so out of the way, like Tyrone's already out of the way, but Beach Tree City, so I may just like mail them. Um, still pregnant. Look at my ch yikes. How do I get rid of, how do I get rid of this? Not like that. So I don't know which spot is better. I'm about to unbox this bad boy and I'm so excited. This is the Papa Baby car seat. Mesa? Mesa? I don't know. But it is the one that I wanted. Really, Theo? Um, I had She Craft Co with Lydia. It was so good. And then our conversation was so good. And if you're a four on the Enneagram, you need fours in your life that are like doing the thing because it's hard out here it's hard out here maybe i'll move where it's better lighting and just do it from the floor i'm so excited um just an update life update we know where we're living maybe i'll be annoying like everything else in my life and like do a reveal like when we get there because we won't be there for a month but we know where we're living as of yesterday. We're really excited. We have peace about it. It will require travel still, um, but we also have a lot of peace about that. And we just know it's really great for our family and all of us, me, Nate, the baby, the dogs. And I don't know if I've like vented about this on the vlog or not, but I really specifically was like, when the baby comes, I'll still walk the dogs and I'll still love them. But like, I need to be able to open a door and be done. Even though I love my babies. Deal. Anyways, let's, <laughs> let's try to get up. How's that? My head's a little cut off, but that's fine, right? Let me go grab it. Um, outfit of the day, what? Outfit of the day, overalls, best t-shirt, and I wore some sneakers. Um, so, I don't know if I like talked about this in my baby shower vlog, but I literally have the best human beings in my life. Um, the best. And all my like church friends and family like bought me my dream stroller and car seat, which was up a baby. I was like, okay, maybe like one day I'll be able to like dish out that much money just and then just do the Nuna for now or like something else. Um, but Vanessa Hale, if you don't have a Vanessa Hale in your life, I pray you get her. So, yeah. Are you drooling, Theo? Um, so, yeah, super thankful that we like know where we're learning. It was like, it's been a hard past two months. Um, being married to <sighs> a contraption. It's really called a contraption, but I've gone with contraption. Um, it's really hard to be married to someone who is a resident. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world, but what are you doing? It is very.
very hard and you just don't know and it can feel like the military at this point of it. I know that like later it gets better and I've, I've talked to doctor's wives like whose husbands have been on practice or uh, are attendings already. That is very different from dating a med student or someone in residency. And if you, if you want to hear about that, I can like make a video about it, but very different. Okay, lots of plastic. I'm having a baby in 11 days. 11 days. Um, remember, I am not gonna listen to opinions about C-sections. Some women need them, some don't, and probably shouldn't have had one. But I need one because I have a fibroid tumor blocking my cervix. But he's only gotten bigger. So my son will be here on a scheduled day at 12 o'clock. So I just can't believe that I'm like taking this car seat out. Um, am I going to cry? I don't think so. When he comes, I'll cry. But. Okay, maybe I should have waited on my dad. Ouch. Oh, I can't. Also, my dad has shoulder surgery. Did I say that? At some point? Yeah, he had shoulder, shoulder surgery. It was chaos. He's doing a little bit better now. I can't get it out of the box. Wait. Let's take a break, Theo. Okay. Okay. I've, like, tilted it. I also need to be careful because I don't want to like make myself go into labor, you know, but I want to get this bad boy out. I'm so excited. Okay. I just like tried to get the bag. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Out of the box. Out of the box. Okay. So. Theo, if you're going to be drooling, we can't do this right now. How can I drool on the baby stuff? How about, how about I do this? Okay, so this is... This is it in the plastic. I don't even want to take it out because I'm a psycho. Um, I just want to keep it nice and fresh forever i wanted black and they don't so the stroller is in this like pretty tan um like the bassinet and the stroller part but i like the black um and they don't have it in the um, they don't have it in tan yet like the top part that i just pulled um but yeah the base is right there so I'm gonna have my dad and mom help me put the base in my car. Like, go ahead and do that because I heard you're supposed to. We're not gonna put the um, not gonna put the the car seat in because I heard you should wait and just um, like just in case you get into a car accident, like you don't want the baby's car seat in an accident because I don't know why. I mean, you don't want that. Like, I don't want to get into a car accident. But there's like a reason. Like, I don't know if you'd have to get, like, a new car seat or, like... Anyways, that was the worst unboxing. I'm happy with what I did. And I'll, like, pull it out and show you. Like, I'll model it. Um, and then, like, get the base in today. I'm having a baby. I'm getting my whole life first. I mean, I didn't know I wanted a baby. I wanted... Maybe I did. I was born with all my dreams and passions, right? Uh, anyways, I think maybe I'll like edit a video. I know I have one or so to do. And then, um, yeah, I have a video going live tonight. It's like a short vlog. But anyways, excited about my life updates. Finally, like I was going through a really hard time because it's like weird when you're going through stuff, you don't know what's next. God's not necessarily saying anything. <laughs> um, or, yeah, not hearing him say anything, but 
be still and you're like, sir, sir, I'm trying to live, sir. And he's like, ma'am, who runs the world? It's not girls, it's me. I mean, I run the world. We're second. God, girls, boys. Don't tell my son. Anyways, so it just feels like so much better to be right here and not like two months ago here, to be honest. Um, anyways. He's so good. He knows to come sit next to me when it there's like cars around or whatever. But um, yeah, I've been just trying to rest. My stomach is really tight all the time. And so I don't know if I'm just like having contractions all the time and if I need to let go. <laughs> I don't know what's happening and I'm trying to remember that like when I was going through all my stuff with my um, extremely horrible periods all the time they were like the amount of pain you're dealing with is like surpassing like how you would feel when you're having contractions or like labor pains and I was like that's not good. So I was like, oh my gosh, then childbirth is going to be terrible. But now I'm like thinking on the other side, like what if I'm missing the signs of like, I mean, my water hasn't broken, but what if I'm missing the signs of um, labor because I'm so used to like pain. When the next time they were coming back to Atlanta? Mm, no. How does it make sure the front's secure? Or the back is enough? I don't know, that's what I said. I'm waiting for my dad to get out of physical therapy. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's almost two o'clock. I haven't done that much well I went to my grandma's because I've been craving she makes the best pancakes ever they're my favorite out of like any and all um, restaurants they're my favorite so we went over there I had two big ones and some bacon and I just I was already exhausted so then when I got home for like 30 40 minutes I um, laid down and Aaron just dropped me off at my dad's car because he's in physical therapy right now we're gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods because there's these New Balance shoes that I want but they're the only ones that have my size I think but I think my feet grew because I know that happens in pregnancy they either grew or they got wider but I'm usually a five and a half five in women's and then a two and a half three in kids but I've been like wearing sixes and they feel like better on my feet. So um, I'm gonna, my dad's gonna drive me in because we have to go to Kennesaw, which is not that far from where my parents live, but it's still a trek and I'm just tired. And I don't think it's gonna get any better, but I don't have that much more time before the baby's here, so. I know it's not going to be like this forever. I know there will be a different type of tiredness, but at least I'll like start to like, I don't know. It'll be easier when I'm taking care of him and he's not like inside. <laughs> so anyways, but other than that, I don't think I'm doing anything the rest of the day. Um, I need to like fold some of his clothes and put them away, but I don't know like I thought maybe I'd be able to like get stuff done and do stuff and like hang out with people before but I'm starting to like really slow down and be like okay I'd actually prefer to be napping more than anything right now not because I don't love people I want to hang out with them and since I haven't been in Georgia like consistently I do want to see people that like I love but I just don't think I 
have the energy to drive anywhere anymore. Um, so, yeah. That's an automatic window. Well, no, it's not automatic. Oh, unfortunately, it's sometimes the wheels went up the you know, and maybe not to the same level. That mask has been up there. That a great hitter can, but when you sprinkle in his ability to. So excited for your baby boy to get here and can't wait for him to meet his potential future wife. We love you guys. We love you guys too. It's so sweet. Another day, another half unwrapped hair. Um, I just got out of bed. I did, I, I'm not sleeping. Um, the night is a joke. I, I don't sleep. So that's unfortunate. Anyone else's dog sometimes accidentally pee on their paws? So every time Theo pees, I'm like, don't. Um, I'm sorry. I feel like I start off strong in the mornings and then the evenings come. Y'all, I'm just so tired. The evenings wear me out. But then it sucks because I can't even sleep. Um, I'm just not comfortable. It doesn't matter how much I put pillows up and stuff like that anyways um, I'm taking it easy today I found these uh, dr dr drugs no I didn't I sure I'm backwards. Um, does my attention spin suck probably uh, I found these side tables on Facebook marketplace for $50 for both of them and so Nate was like, get them, and I want them, but I have this weird feeling that the girl's being sketchy. Maybe she's not, maybe I'm overthinking it, but tell me this. I was like, okay, I want them, and she was like, okay, today? I'm like, it's 9.30 at night. I'm not driving to Roswell. Um, Theo, no. Come on. Inside, do you want to eat breakfast? Anyways. So maybe that could be a thing. Uh, having a contraption. Um, but if not, I'm just gonna sit at home. I have a vlog to upload, edit, and then this one too. So maybe I'll like be a material girl and like get it together. Let's fly. Um, anyways, good morning. Hope you're having a good day morning etc come on theo come on let's eat something german shepherds just kidding i like those dogs so i ordered these from no actually essence Got me these, so I just need to wash them. Um, I'm gonna use them for burp cloths. I think they can use, be used for washcloths too and stuff. And then I got these in the mail today. I think I, I mean yesterday. I think I showed y'all. Um, love you too. Love you too. Um, I'm gonna do some laundry and stuff too as I like rest today. But I think I'm just done. I have a 
I'm really good at overdoing things or like even when I'd have surgeries I'd be like gotta hang out with everybody gotta do but I just like then that then that's like the hard thing about living in metro Atlanta like no one's that close so I could ask people to like come towards me or whatever but and it's not like I've hung out with a bunch of people either but I just my energy levels gone I can barely walk uh, so and I'm not trying to induce labor so I'm also trying to like whatever so I think I'm I already said that I think I'm just chilling out because I just can't I want to but I can't which my dad could be my driver that's what he did yesterday so anyways now we're gonna have some waffles and I'm caught up on 90 Day Fiance which sucks I don't like being caught up on things I like to like binge stuff which I don't really binge I still just like watch an episode a day or something but um, I'm caught up on that I watched Doubling Down and Doritos and I was watching Team One too but I guess that's over they're about to have the reunion I'm not like a reunion girl I think um Married at First Sight just kind of like was drawn out and I got so uninterested in it early so I'm not gonna watch that um Y'all, my hair is still the same. It's still really bad, but this is real. This is me. Right, Dio? Anyways, I'm about to wash this and like some blankets and some burp cloths. And they're all similar colors and require the same type of cleansing. I've been like panicking. I don't want to like shrink anything, mess anything up. But yeah, my friend Brie is like, she's the one that's been sanding and painting the dresser. And she's like really good at it. And I'm so thankful because it would have looked so bad if I did it or anybody else in this family. No offense. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm literally not going to leave the house. I'm not. I can't believe me I do need to return something oh, dang it I just don't feel like it Jeez, no. okay the packaging is really cute obviously you saw it but it gives you like this it comes with this like booklet nursing in it like how to carry them I'm so excited about this I probably won't carry him right off the bat, but I want Nate to, like, when we get back to the house, like, after we bring him home. 